the difficulty is that we're moving from people using physical commodities as a way to handle their finances, whether, whether it's cash, chicken, jewelry, it's all very physical, to an electronic world, which is basically a bunch of zeros and ones, accounts, transfers, payments. It's a completely different language. And the only way we're going to give a, uh, a perception of value proposition to customers is if this new world of, uh, of uh, electronically enabled services maps into how they think about their money. Right now, that linkage is, 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 is very weak. Most, most people, and I would say actually not just poor people, but most people, manage their money through fragmentation. It, it's a way to build discipline. I have many, many reasons why I'm saving. Because I want to buy a bicycle, because I, I need to pay school fees later on, I need to send money to my, to my parents, I need to set money aside for, for, for a wedding. These are all the reasons why I save. Few people save to save. Few, most people save because they have a need or because they want to buy something in the future. So the way they, they, get, they build up the discipline to save for all these purposes is to fragment their savings to have some kind of linkage between the savings vehicle and the savings objective. So if under the mattress or this particular jar, it's the money to send to my relative, that helps me not access that jar when I want to go out with friends in the evening. So this kind of mental association of a purpose to a vehicle is very important. So if people do manage their, mon their money like that, what use, it, what use is it for them to say, okay, here's a no frills account, one single, uh, w uh, one single vessel on which, through which you can send for your bicycle and for the marriage and for this and for that. It just doesn't fit into, into people's uh, uh, mental models. So what we need to do is find is ways to, to replicate what they're currently doing in an electronic format. One idea that I've put forward, which I'm not going to argue is, is, is necessarily the right idea, but just to give you an, an example of how this could be achieved, is to extend the payments logic to savings. Again, people don't save to save, or at least most people don't save to save. They save to buy something in the future, to make a payment in the future. So how about if we extend the payment logic? Right now the payment is I can send money from me to you um, to pay a school fee, to, to, uh, to, to, to help out a relative in real time. How about if I could send money to myself? We can call these me-to-me -me payments, where the reason why I send money to myself is because I have money now, but the school fees are not due until two months from now. So I'm going to send money to myself value for the value two months from now. So that money is now earmarked for school fees. It's still my money until I pay it, but I've separated it out from all my other sources of, of pots of money because it's a distinct money earmarked for school fees. And then I can also have uh, a, a, an aspiration to buy a bicycle. Let's say that I expect to buy a, to have enough money for the bicycle in June. Let me send money to myself for June. So that then in June, I find myself with this pot of money that I can buy the bicycle with. So that's an example of how electronically you can replicate what I'm doing today. Because right, right to, uh, what I'm doing today is separating my money in different pots. Yes, there's a little bit of risk diversification involved in that, but mostly is it's helping me think about my money because the sheer fragmentation of my savings is how I plan. And that's the, really the key word. How do we go uh, from financial uh, uh, services or the mobile phone being purely a way to access an account and being a framework for me to plan my money, my expenditures, uh, my, 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 my savings? So this is, a, to me, a very logical way of, of, of approaching it where you would use exactly the same logic to pay in real time to others that you would use to pay to yourself uh, over time to achieve your savings goals. These are, these are the kind of ideas that we need to, fl uh, to flesh out, that we need to test with, with, with clients. Um, what, what I can tell you from focus groups that we've done with, uh, with, with Microsafe, when you present a scheme like this, the first reaction you get from people is, but that's what I do today. 
And that's exactly the answer that you want to hear. Because all we're doing is not asking them to change their behaviors, but asking them how they engage in those behaviors.